Hello and welcome back to Paper Mario Part 13 after that abrupt ending after we defeated Tubba Blubba. We solved the mystery of the Gusty Gulch and now we are seeing what Princess Peach is up to and during her imprisonment above Bowser's castle. I wonder what Mario is doing. Do you think he found a way to beat that Tubba Blubba bloke? I wonder too. I'm so worried. What if Mario got hurt? Well, um, no use wondering. Why don't we go out and try to eavesdrop again? If Mario managed to beat Tubba Blub by now, Bowser and his followers will be really, really mad, don't you think? You may be right, Twink. There's just no use sitting around worrying like this. Let's see what we can find out. So, they're going to be really mad, so your first idea is to go outside and piss them off more? Well, I mean, I can't argue with that logic. Let's go out and see what happens. Oh, coffee is so delicious. Okay, we're gonna go down this way, back over to Bowser's room. And oh, I really hope he's not just in there waiting for us. That would be unfortunate. Hey, what do you know? It can't be, no, no, no. Explain that all again, slowly. Your wretchedness, I keep trying to tell you. Tumble Blubble was defeated by Mario. Well, that's strange, because you told me he was invincible! How can you beat someone who's invincible? Ugh. Arr, stupid Mario, I guess maybe he found out the secret that made Tubba Bulba not quite so invincible. And then he beat him. God, I despise Mario, really! Your filthiness, we have to come up with another tactic, and quickly. Mario will most likely got to sh go to Shy Guy Toy Box next. Yes, so we should prepare something there for his arrival. I won't be satisfied just having him beaten up anymore. What we need to do is find his weak point and completely humiliate him. Yeah! Can't be cool, but you've got to find out what Mario hates and... Huh? Gah! For the love of... Why... Why is Princess Peach here? What is wrong with those guards? No, wait, hang on. This is actually good timing, my mischievous princess. We're just discussing the weak points of our mutual friend, Mario. So, Princess Peach, what do you know about his weaknesses, huh? And listen, you must be honest. Which of these things does Mario hate the most? Um... I guess he hates clubbers the most. Hmm, I see. Excellent. Do another thing that fills him with dread. De definitely fuzzies. Good, good. And how about these things? Which of these does he hate? Um, well, I'm trying to quit drinking soda, honestly, but realistically, I suppose Goo Patrols are probably the worst. Oh, excellent. Perfect. Thanks, princess. <laughs> Be sure Mario can't avoid these things that he hates. We'll beat him for sure. What, you scumbag? How dare you? I was being truthful. Did you get all that, Kami Koopa? Get going immediately. I'm not sure we can entirely trust what the princess tells us about Mario's weak points, but I'll do what you say. Of course you will. My tactics are brilliant. They're pure art. So, Kami Koopa, have Princess Peach taken back to her room immediately. Finally, we will witness the end of Mario at last. <laughs> Garg, I can, can take Princess Peach back to her room at once. Yes, ma'am. No! Not again! And our favorite British star kid is once again allowed to leave freely with no problems. Hello again, Mario. I knew you could do it. I don't know how to thank you. I knew it was the right decision to ask you to help us. You're a great man. Now that I'm free, I can help you. Ha! Mario's star energy goes up to three. Mario can now use Star Storm, a new star spirit power. With Star Storm, you can attack all enemies. Mario, I have one bit of bad news. Unfortunately, Bowser's life force seems to be getting stronger all the time. Most likely, it's the star rod that's giving him more power. We're not even sure if he's noticing it or not, but there's no question that it's making him stronger than before. We will have to be much more careful in the coming trials. Ah, I'm sorry to leave, but I must go back to Star Heaven. The other Star Spirits are waiting for me there. Oh, and if you could, please keep it a secret that I got lost in Forever Forest. Thanks, Mario. Bye. My people need me. 
So as much as I was making fun of Skolar before, he actually gives you probably the strongest move outright in the entire game in uh, PK Starstorm! Not actually, but in Starstorm it does a whole bunch of damage. It does use three, two or three, I can't actually remember, of your, um, of your star gauge power things. I don't know why that slipped my mind, but yeah, it does use a lot of it and because of that, it will, it's not something that you can easily spam, but again, it does a lot of damage, it's really strong, and it's definitely the best thing that we're going to get pretty much all game. Um, apart from, of course, you know, some of the better tactics that we've received, like the power bounce. Anyway. Oh, wow, bugs, get them off me. I'm lost in a freaky forest. I'm so scared. Oh, I remember who this is. Whoops. Eek. Oh, Mario, thank, oh, thank, I mean, uh, aha! Boy, are you unlucky to run into me again! Who is this kid? What a dirty little urchin. He must be lost. Hey, shut up, shut up! I'm not a lost child. I'm your worst nightmare. Here comes the pain! And we gotta deal with this guy again. He's got a new gimmick, though. As he will every single time we fight him. Don't think I'm as vulnerable as I was before. Check this out. More power! And that's right, now he can fly. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's see how you like the new improved Junior Koopa. So, we're gonna have to just jump on him. We don't really have much of a choice. Uh, he does have one defense, which means Bow is completely useless. So we will switch off to... We're gonna use Paracarry, uh, just because he's, he's easily the best fighter to use in this thing. Junior Troop also does a ton of damage now. Uh, so don't take him lightly. That's why, and that's another reason that I'm switching off to Paracarry, so that we can shell out some deeps through the defense. And we got a Murley spell, so that's beautiful timing for that. We'll be able to do eight whole damage to him with that one attack, and let's see if we can land the shell shot. And bang, got four more. So that was a huge turn for us. We missed the block, unfortunately, to ruin it all, but what can you do? Let's go. Hit him with another power jump. Uh, unlike most flying enemies, we don't knock him out of the sky when we hit him for enough damage. He just kind of still floats. He's got those bat wings flapping around. Uh, you know, let's let's use our Star Storm. Let's see what it looks like. As I said, it does a whole ton of damage. If you read it quickly enough, it does seven damage. So here we go. He uses two of our powers, and it uh, makes the effect that we got at Shooting Star Summit with the falling stars. And it looks pretty cool. It's everything on the map for 7 damage. Very nice move. Really solid. Can't, uh, can't say enough good about it. And it's going to help us take out Junior Trooper right now. Go back to power jumping because we don't have enough star energy anyway. And we will finally knock him out of the air as we have defeated him. Got our 21 star points. And down he goes once more. No! Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! And off he'll run. Um, we want to try and take a wrong path. I think this is one here, so let's just go this way. And because that'll take us right back to the beginning. Um, uh, let's see. Let's, uh, let's try going back. See what happens. No, that's, uh... That's fine. No, I did, I did it wrong. Okay, well, uh, we'll, well, we'll find our way out of here pretty quickly, I'm sure. So, we see the laughing and dancing flowers dodge that guy because we don't want to fight him here we see fading okay so i think fading flowers was uh was one of the wrong answers so we'll go on through here and that'll lead us back to forever forest entrance you can tell because you get the sign and so you can turn around and out you go oh i mean that in the forest i could kick this ground yahoo and off he runs. That's just purely there for comedic relief. He finds his way out as well. And you may or may not notice we have a little bit different of uh, a little bit different toad down music. Shy guys have been raising a ruckus all over town, but compared to ghosts, shy guys are nothing. You're Feist T, the guard of Forever Forest, right? My name is Paracarry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. So, we get an explanation and we pass off a letter. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's work is never done. I wonder who Bootler is. Ugh. 
Oh no. No! This is from that ghost. It says, I'll creep up on you while you're sleeping. Boo! He loves scaring me. You think he really creeping darkness? Oh, woe is me. I'll never sleep. Get a hold of Get a hold of yourself. Feisty, stand tall. Fear not. I'll be okay. Here, take this. We got another. Uh, we got another star piece there. I keep calling them star shards for whatever reason. Oh no! My favorite frying pan. So, if you talk to these guys, they'll tell you what's going on. The recent invasion by these shy guys has everyone reeling. There's no end to their mischief. I just saw shy guys run over towards the station. I wonder they, what they could be up to now. Unless I miss my guess, it's bound to be something bad, wouldn't you agree? You may be the only one with the strength to repel them. Yow! A big group of shy guys just ran off to the north. There's all sorts of trouble they can get into up there, at the post office, the shop. Look, Mario, would you mind going to check out the scene? Yeah, yeah. What's going on with you? Did you hear Tasty's fr best frying pan was stolen? It was the work of shy guys. I'm a huge fan of Tasty. It really gets me steam that they do such a thing. Please, Mario, try to get a frying pan back. So, shy guys are stealing a whole bunch of stuff. And, hey, you little scamp, get your hands off. Give me back my calculator. Oh, wrong side. Huh. So, uh, this guy loses his calculator. Sorry, bud. I had to close up shop. Some idiot shy guy stole my calculator. You believe that? I need that thing to calculate sales, bud. I'm not a genius when I find that little punk. So, we need to get a calculator. We need to get a frying pan. Hey, you. I'm pretty sure you can knock these guys out of the flower bed. Yeah, you can. Um, if you're good at it. Unlike me, you totally can. Oh, my God. Hey, you. Stop it. Can you spin jump it? No, you can't spin jump into him. And... There we go. Got you out. Oh, thank you. The flowers give you their thanks as well, Mario. Alright. Didn't we... We got a seed for you. If all four colors of Bubbles' flowers bloom, the garden will become magical. I still need two more colors. Please bring them... Bring me the seeds when you find them, heart. Here you go. You brought me a seed? Thanks, I'm so pleased. So she'll go and traipse through her flower garden once more to plant the top right color. And now we can move on. Hey, Merlin's outside. What's going on there? It looks like he's asleep. Oh, it's you, Mario. What unfortunate time. Hmm, the town seems pretty active today, but it's none of my concern. I had a dream last night, and another oracle spoke to me. Its voice was heavenly. If you keep going around and around the red palm tree in the distant desert town, dry dry outpost, something good will happen. So said the voice in my dream. It doesn't seem to make any sense to me at all. In fact, thinking about it makes me so uneasy I can't sleep at night. If you find out what it means, please tell me. Well, I think that that means that this is a good interlude to do a couple of, uh, to do a quick side thing. Let's go into the post office first, though, see what's going on here. Stop! Thief! Whoa. He took something big. A shy guy just uh, stole a bag of undelivered letters. I'm sure there were tons of important letters in that bag. Bills, cards, packages. What are we going to do? Oh, I'll get him back. Don't worry. Um, does anything happen to the Toad House? Yep. The Toad House slogan is refresh your body and soul, but it's impossible to get refreshed with a shy guy jumping all over the place. Sorry. Oh, don't worry. I'll get rid of him. There we go. Now the tag guys are gone, you can stay here. Would you like to take a nap? No, I'm good. Please come again. Oh wait, I do need to take a nap, I'm sorry. I thought I hit a block, but uh, uh, that was before the fight, that's right. That was before I fought Junior Troopa. Okay, so we can heal up real quick while everyone is freaking out. Did you sleep well? Now that your body and soul are fresh, your travel still seem much easier. Thank you, Mr. Toad. Um, so there's nothing more to do over here. We are going to venture over. Oh, what do you got to say? Mario, bad things are afoot. Shy guys just ran to the west towards the main gate. They're no doubt up to something. There's a shop over that way. Perhaps they have. Perhaps it is there they have their set set. No good can come of this. Yeah, you're right. Let me hit this tree real quick, though. I forgot to get that earlier, so there we go. Now we have a star piece out of that. And let's keep going this way. Let's go into the shop. Uh, what? Excuse me? Oh no, poor me. 
Mario. Way to show that little hooligan a thing or two. Hooray, thank you so much. I'm still giving great deals at rock bottom prices, so don't be a stranger around here. Um, speaking of that, I still have all those thunder rages that I didn't end up using. Uh, ah, words are mocking me. I need that dictionary. All right. Let's see what Rusty's got going on. Curses, Mario. A shy guy stole my dictionary. Please get it back from him. I'm I'm losing IQ points. You need a dictionary? Right. Um, well, I mean, I ain't gonna judge, I guess. Let's go check out this family over here. Take off, you lazy shy guy. I don't care how convincing your Mario disguise is. You ain't getting in. Stay away from my family. Dad, you are so cool. All right, well, he thinks I'm a, he thinks I'm a shy guy, so I'm just gonna leave him alone, I guess. Um, while we're here, let's quickly go over back and check on Luigi. Hey, Luigi. What's going on, buddy? Oh, oh you wouldn't believe it. Shy guys were everywhere. They move like the wind. Oh, well, all I managed to do was get really upset and yell. Oh, my God. This is one of the more difficult ones to get rid of. I'm gonna stand over here and wait for him to come back. There we go. Got one. Of, got rid of him. You just kind of got to camp out um, and wait. Ha, I'm a great jumper, but my running really needs some work. A little more training and I'll be vital to your team. All right, take it easy. I know I can't go. You're on your adventure. I don't even want it anymore. I know it's up to you to save Princess Peach, so hurry up for my sake. Poor Luigi. You'll get your day one day, I promise. Well, let's check out... Uh, Let's check out in here and see what we've got so far. So, we've done one of Tasty's recipes. We're two on two out of Chuck Kuzmo's quizzes. We've fought in 164 battles and we're just under halfway on the first strikes. That's not too great. We've earned almost 800 coins. We've collected 21 badges, 22 star pieces. I think we're doing pretty well so far. Still got a lot of collecting to do though. Let's go over here and, uh, yeah, no, let's, let's look at Mario. Oh, we got, we got a whole bunch of mail for Mario. Let's check them out. Dear Mario, how do you do? I'm Little T. I'm just a little toad. I live in Toad Town. I've been training at the dojo so I can save Princess Peach. I'll write to you again later. Bye! Hello, Mario. I'm Vanity, Chuck Quizmo's lovely assistant. Thanks for participating in our quiz show. Our ratings are through the roof. Are those star pieces helping you? Please keep coming back until you answer the last question. I'll cheer you on! Vanity. You rat, Mario! How dare you embarrass us! I'll never forget what you did! Red! Hey, watch your back when you walk at night! Black. I'm gonna make you cry. Green. You better sleep with one eye open, pal. Yellow. We shall return. The Koopa Brothers. All the Koopa Troopers. Dear Mario, thank you so much for taking care of our fuzzy problem. We, the Koopa Troopers in the village, I really appreciate what you've done for us. We must apologize for not rewarding you with anything. We are but simple Koopas. Please drop by the village whenever you like. Anytime. It'll be our honor. Best of luck for all of us. Sincerely, Koopa Troopers of the Koopa Troopers Village. Hey, Wanderer, I have heard many stories about your deeds. People speak very well of you. It comforts me to know that Bowser's creatures are no longer loot the angel ruins. Unfortunately, some relics are missing. This is a shame. I have heard that a Koopa was wandering around the ruins. That sounds very suspicious. You should be careful if you meet any suspicious types. Anyway, I must go. I look forward to hearing great tales of your adventures. Most tougher. How are you, dear boy? I just finished my exhausting research of the runes found by my unwavering efforts. Sadly, I did not find any treasures as valuable as I had hoped. I will press on, though, old chap. There are treasures hidden all over the world. I hear them calling my famous name, asking me to dig them up. Yeah, your efforts. All right, well, there's nothing else to do in here, so let's just, I don't know, let's bounce around a little. Uh, 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 Okay, so obviously I've been, I noticed this a long time ago, and I was just kind of making fun of it. Um, but down here, there's Luigi's diary. Once again, my brother went on an exciting journey. Once again, he went alone. It's so unfair. I remember the carefree days when we played golf and tennis and had parties. I remodeled the house and made a secret basement. My brother has no idea. It's the perfect place to write you my secret diary. I heard that a ghost appeared in Toad Town. It was really big, really big, and it had red eyes and a giant gaping mouth and a mustache. Because of you, because you're my secret diary, I'll tell the truth. Yeah, I hate ghosts. What would I do if it appears at night? Come back, Mario, I'm scared. Yikes, I can feel something behind me. Uh, I'm sure it's there, but I can't look. No, no, get away. I think I'll be safe if I don't freeze with fear. I'll just shut my eyes, take five steps back, and then I'll jump and dash into bed. Here I go. 
Oh no, I just read that. So yes, Mar uh, Luigi has a secret diary down here where he complains about everything because we left him behind. And uh, if you actually go between when you defeat Tebba Blubba and when you get the super boots in both castle, you will actually be able to read, find him down there as he's uh, writing it, which is kind of funny. Um, he'll freak out a little bit, but then he'll act like nothing happened. Uh, we're going to continue with doing a little bit of side stuff here rather than moving on with the actual story quite yet because we've been we made, we made a lot of progress lately i think it's time for a little bit of side fun in between chapters don't you so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna head in here we're gonna go down into toe town tunnels and we're gonna see if we can do a little bit more exploring let's see if we can go this way there's a yellow block here that we didn't break before and down here there is a dark goomba so let's just beat him up real quick and move on. Dark Goombas really aren't powerful anymore. They're powerful enough, they have seven health, so you do need to be careful when you're fighting them because Paracarry won't be able to uh, one-hit them with you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use a, a power smash here just to get a little bit ahead so that we don't waste too much time on this fight. Since Paracarry only does two damage right now, he won't be able to finish this. Excuse me, you won't be able to finish this if we don't use uh, something that does a little bit extra damage here. But we're going to stick with Paracarry through this area, just because. Um, let's break some of these blocks. Something's got to have something important. Yeah, there we go. There's some coins. And I can see you up there. I'm not going to fight him because we're a little bit over level for him. If we hit here, there's a hidden block with a Super Shroom in it. And then, whoops. And then we can break the last block. I'm not going to break that one. I don't really want to fight that Thorn Goomba guy. And let's keep going. Blooper! That's right, we got another blooper fight down here. And this time it is... Electro Blooper, which is kind of spooky, honestly. Um, we're going to make use of Charge right now, because you're going to soon find out what exactly Super Blo uh, Electro Blooper's ability is, and it's a pretty cool one, honestly. I might emulate it myself, just as a little bit of fun. Uh, I didn't block that, unfortunately. We're going to keep charging away here, because I'm going to just toss hammers at him all day. And I want to get a super strong one. We have charged up twice now. Luckily for Paracarry, he's a really obviously easy target. Um, so what he does every so often is he electrifies himself, and that means that if you touch him with a physical attack, you will take damage and your attack will not go off. But if you hit him with a, any attack that does do damage to him, it will go away. Which is why I charged up and hit him with that uh, hammer toss, did 8 damage, got rid of the electrification so that uh, Paracarry doesn't have to deal with uh, that guy's nonsense. And the lucky thing is that since we're doing 2 damage, our charge is basically uh, saving us turns, saving us FP per turn. Because it only uses 1 FP rather than 2 FP of the, the electro, uh, of the actual hammer toss itself. And there we go, he's electrified himself again, so let's hammer toss. And we get a power boost from Merly. Oh boy. This one's going to be a pretty strong attack. Spells, what? Spells power has run out. Oh, that means that Merly no longer will be helping us every time uh, in any battles. So we got to go and refresh that, which um, is on my mind to do because I want to figure out what exactly Merlin was talking about, about that red tree in Dry Dry Outpost. So we don't have enough FP to do anything anymore, so we're just going to jump on him. And hope that this battle goes to an end quickly, because we have done quite a bit of damage so far. Uh, he's still alive here, which is kind of unfortunate, and he's going to electrify himself. So I don't really want to do anything uh, that'll make me take damage, so I'm going to go ahead and use Star Storm right here. Since we're back at full after recharging at that uh, Toad House. So Skolar is going to make his way out. And he's going to bop this guy with 7 damage, get rid of that electrifying, and actually take him out as well. So Electro Blooper, Electro Blooper goes down, gives us 20 star points, and down he goes back to where he came from. Let's see what we were fighting for in this treasure chest. The Shrink Stomp Badge. This is basically the same thing as the down uh, jump that we got in Tabalobus Castle, except rather than lowering their defense, it lowers their offense, which can be pretty useful against uh, certain bosses. I'm not going to be using it but it, uh, it can be pretty good. So anyway, let's go back over here to where these uh, 
teleporter tubes were, and I can't remember which one Dry Dry Desert is. I think it was the far one? Yeah, I think it was the first one. Yeah, there we go. So, we gotta find a red tree somewhere. There it is. Let's run around it a few times. And see what happens when we do. Keep going. Excuse me. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a sec? What exactly are you doing walking around that tree? You're making me dizzy. What? You're joking. You believe some crazy dream? Well, okay, I guess. I mean, I got a message in a dream a long time ago, but it didn't mean anything. It said, there's a house with a whirling roof in a large town near a castle. If you spin jump three times in the house, something good should happen to you. Haha, <laughs> a house with a whirling roof. As if that exists. I don't take dreams seriously. Alright, so there's our hint. While we're here, we're also gonna go off. Oh, we found... This guy, Cow Wiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. Wanna try the quiz? Yes, I do. Then let's go to the question! Question. What ability does Goombario frequently use? He uses Tattle, of course. Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star piece. You got the star piece. You've correctly answered three questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long, farewell, till we meet again. And off he goes. We got ourselves another star piece. Let's head back over here. And let's talk to Merle again. Hello, welcome. How are you? Feeling jolly? Feeling blue? I'm Merle, you see. That's me, a cuter gal you'll never see. I do magic, but not for free. Your luck has steered you well, for I'm a master of the spell. When my spell upon you glows, you might get lucky, but who knows? Do you dare to take a chance? Want to watch my cards dance? Yes, I do. Oh, j how lovely. Very good. Pick just one now. If you would, I'd pay as much as I could. Yep, let's go in with the special course. Well, we're ready, tally-ho, and here we go. I think you'll find this power might get your foes to cower. It will light your darkest hour. Even should you meet a beast, do not fear, not in the least. My spell makes a famine feast. See you again then. Please come again. Goodbye, my friend. And so we've got ourselves a spell refresh. And is there something else I want to do here? No. I don't know why I decided to enter this toad house. I don't need you, sir. Goodbye. I am going back down the pipe because we've got... Uh, a couple more things that I want to get done here. And the first one will be that if we go over here, we've walked past a breakable place right here a couple times. So let's break that and pop on down. We can't go this way because there's just a little dock here, but we don't have a boat. So let's just go over here and see what happens. We've got a Dark Koopa Gauntlet. Oh my god. So we're going to try and take care of this now. This is the first time we've faced Dark Koopas, I think. Um, so I'm going to show this one, but... After this battle's done, I'm just going to cut the rest of the gauntlet out because they're not too interesting of a fight. Uh, I believe that what Dark Goombas can do is they can uh, send us into the dizzy state with that little spin that I'm sure you saw that back one do briefly. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, there it is. Mario's dazed, he can't move. And that is a problem because Paracarry cannot do anything on his own against these guys. So we're going to switch off to Gumbario and try our best to block this. The problem is that they can just spam that attack and make you dizzy for a really long time. So we're going to try and get rid of this front dark Koopa first. It can be pretty nasty to deal with, especially since these Koopas get up so quickly. It's also pretty tough to figure out the timing on that. The good side is that if they are doing that, they're not actually doing any damage to you. Which means that uh, you can get away with uh, just spamming attacks on them with your partner. Nice, I actually managed to block at that time. So Mario will be able to get up. And I'm going to tattle on them just so that I can see exactly what their stats are because I have no idea. This is a Dark Koopa. Dark Koopas are the Koopa Troopas who live in Total Dial Doubles. They're known for causing dizziness. Max HP 8, attack power 3, defense power 2. Be extra careful when you see him run because that means they're getting ready to do their dizzy attack. Their defense power is zero when they're turned over, so you should use jump attacks. See, so now he's not smiling anymore, so that means he's just going to try and attack us normally. Which is what he was going for, but right now he's smiling. So we got to knock him over, otherwise he's going to make us dizzy again. I really don't want to deal with that, so let's go. Let's go Goombario, put on some more damage. We can 
make quick work of this guy now this turn. Pretty much no matter what we do, even if I mess up the action commands, which I didn't. Um, so there we go. They give four star points each. This is a huge, uh, uh, this is a really good place to grind a little bit of star points if you're behind. And I'm going to skip out the rest of the battles here. All right, so there we go. We finished all of them in here. I'm not sure if I'm blind or can't count or dumb or what, but uh, they gave up five star points each. Um, we're gonna check out and see what's in that shortly, but before we do, we have something better. Uh, there's a puzzle here where there are three hidden blocks that you've got to stand on this box that you can move around to find, and when you do that, they all appear. You can come back up to the top, stand on one, and use Paracarry to ferry yourself right on across. And what awaits you on the other side is a super block. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. Which party member do you upgrade? Well, we only have one choice. It's Paracarry. Do you want to upgrade this member? Yes, I do. And Paracarry will get his power up. He will be our fifth member to do it. He's upgraded to super rank. And what he can now do is he can now do... I don't know why I'm doing this. I can block. Uh, what he can now do is use airlift, which essentially is like the the whole Fright Jar idea, Fright Jar spook thing, but for one enemy. Um, it also opens up a new secret passage back to Bo's Mansion, if you did want to return here for whatever reason. Um, there isn't really a reason to do so that I can recall. Uh, yeah, no, there's uh, there's really no reason to come back here right now. So we're going to go on and we're going to head on out of here. We don't have anything else left to do down here. So for now, anyway, um, until we can use the water thing to get over the water. Actually, did I come over here? Yeah, I did come over here already. There's nothing to do over here either. So let's keep on moving. We accomplished some more side stuff. We have one more side thing to do before we start making progression in the story once more, and that is the completion of Merlin's little spinning house run around the tree saga, and we are going to go and finish that up right now. So let's go stand here, bonk, two, and three, and down comes that. Oh. Oh, this badge is quick change. I had no idea such a useful badge was in my attic. Mario, you are a very lucky man. You should put that badge on. And I certainly will, actually, because while it is one of the more stronger badges in the game, uh, it's strong for all the good reasons. It's not overpowered. It, what it does, what this badge does is it lets you both change your party member and use an attack with them on the same turn, which is a super useful skill to have because for example if you didn't bring out bow to start a fight and you're about to get mauled by something you can quick change off and you get out of sight real quick um that's most of the use the other uses for it are some is stuff like if you wanted to do um tattling and you were trying to fill out the library that way you would be able to quick switch off of to gumbario and uh tattle so i'm gonna i'm gonna take off fp plus and i need one more point so I'm also going to take off power, hmm, power jump or power smash. I'm going to take off power smash and uh, put on quick change. The next time I level up, I'll probably be recovering some of those skills that I just took off because I don't know. I like uh, I like having them. So anyway, now that we're done that. We are full health, and we are two star points off of a level up. And we will start investigating into the story next time on Paper Mario. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you around next time when we will try and find our way to get to the bottom of this whole Shy Guy nonsense. See you all then.